guys, welcome to another day with Zamalara. This is going to be my expediting vlog. I'll be driving uh, basically across the country, uh, picking up freight and delivering. Uh, I actually have made it to the company. And whenever you come to a company and you're expediting, just so you know, it is important to have some kind of like uh, ear protection. Uh, this LG headset uh, does a fine job of it and you have to wear like uh, safety glasses. and. Some places will require you to have a safety vest and others will also require you to have safety boots, uh, kind of like a steel toe boots and uh, also like a, a helmet. I have all those things. So this is probably like a typical place. So I, I could just wear like glasses and that's it. And have some kind of like ear protection. That's normal. So let me walk So here's my Sprinter. I went ahead and uh, packed up uh, to the shipping department and the shipping hours looks like uh, from 6 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. It does not really matter if you schedule to pick it up. Usually you could just go. So you just go to the shipping department and get Sometimes the paperwork. There's a doorbell. You just basically ring it. I already run it one time, so I'm not gonna Guys, as I'm waiting for them to answer the door, just to let you know, whenever you walk in, just present yourself uh, in a nice manner. You know, you pick, you're here to pick up some kind of load and for whatever company. The shipping office over there. This time they already knew what it's about, so I don't have to tell them much. I just told them what's good, where it's going, I don't have to tell them my company. Sometimes it's best not to mention your company to begin with, because uh, another agent might have brokered uh, the load, that's why. Normally to get loaded, guys, it's pretty simple. Come in, sign your paperwork. Usually it works pretty quickly, and they go ahead and uh, load you up. But sometimes it takes a couple hours, even. Very rare occasions at that, because we're expedite, it should be kind of quick. Yes. Getting loaded. This pallet is actually just a little bit over a thousand pounds, so I have asked kindly to slide it in a little bit further to help distribute the weight. So this guy's getting a pallet jack, I mean uh, like a pallet, so he's going to use a pallet to try to push it in. In case you guys are wondering how to actually uh, load it in there, push it in. That is perfect. We have it, boys. The skid is loaded. It is locked in. This is how you do it. It's locked into the A-Track. In case you guys are wondering, where do you sleep? That's where I sleep. And as you, you, as you can see, I have a second row of seats. That's for my kids or any passengers I take with me. Um, I installed them. They're basically two seats from uh, the front. I installed them in the back. But anyways, yeah, glorious life. So anyways, of an we are loaded. That only took about a few minutes. Now what's next is uh, now we got paperwork. I have to send uh, to my shipper, to my broker, or I guess a carrier that I work with. I gotta send them all the details about the load. Bill of lading number, pieces and weight. Basically it's gonna be like one skid, thousand pounds, whatever the paperwork says. And then where it's going because they gotta compare their notes, making sure I got the right freight. Because guys, believe me, it happens. You might get wrong freight on the on your van. It only happened to me like one time, but I don't. It was not my fault. Everything uh, compared, but they actually grabbed the wrong skid, but the correct paperwork from the warehouse one time, and I took it all the way from uh, Tennessee to Texas. Then they paid me to bring it back. So that was another paid load I did one time. But anyways, let me show you what I'm doing next. 
So anyways guys, I gave you a little screenshot of what it looks like as I'm sending it to the company. It's very basic, very simple. So um, let me show you where I get this information on the actual paper. Here's uh, my loading paper here. And here's the company where I picked it up. We got the master bill of lading right there and we have the pieces and weight right here. And I have to sign it. I haven't signed this one yet. But anyways, there's the weight, one piece. 1053 pounds so now I need to write everything in my uh, book make sure I put the miles that I started uh, miles when I stop all this kind of stuff I'll explain a little bit later why and I'm gonna give you an example of exactly how I do it then I gotta put in my GPS and that's it I'm off to the so anyways to guys this is exactly how I do it uh, it is Thursday um, but basically it's the start of the week so I kind of put like new week to let myself know kind of like what's going on so I'm not gonna be getting confused um, as to what I'm doing so I put down that that's where I basically um, was driving from and uh, that's the miles that I had when I left this is the Cherryville North Carolina that's where I'm picking up the load this is the miles where I have on a speedometer right now um, and Lamonia Michigan is where I'm going I went ahead and put down that's what the deadhead miles that's what dh stands for deadhead miles 67 miles deadhead so in case i need to do in tax deductions i could deduct that then loaded miles 683 so at 80 cents that's 546 dollars uh it's going to cost me roughly 100 dollars for fuel so i'm looking at about 446 dollars uh profit I'm not sure if store. anybody will share uh, this type of uh, secrets or information with you guys because uh this will actually make the competition go up but I'm not afraid of any competition. I just want you guys to good. And if I could help you out uh, to where you could do your business better or maybe you find yourself a new job or career doing this, you know, it's pretty good money to be made. Uh, you also can lose money uh, as with any business because this is a business. And how would you lose money, you might, you might ask? Well, uh, let's say, for instance, you bought yourself um, a used van. Um, and you started driving and stuff and here you are making money and all, all good you know you paid cash for that van and continue and point it breaks one miles. and now it's then costing you right on road. I'm gonna turn this off uh, now it's costing you more money to actually get that van fixed than the money that you have so you might go into debt fixing it let's say uh, you can't go into debt for one reason or another that means now you're gonna park that van kind of like I did uh, with my box truck uh, fixing it, fixing it, till I couldn't fix it anymore. It's just a money pit, I have to leave it alone, I just parked it. And so you might have to do the same thing, you might end up paying storage fees unless you could uh, keep it at your address. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that's just one of the ways I could get into it deeper. I'm not gonna, this is just gonna be kind of like an expediting video explaining you know some stuff. And then as we uh, make more videos and stuff, I'm gonna talk about more, more stuff because really quickly it could exponentially grow with this video to like 30 minutes and i want to keep it at 15 minutes if possible um but anyways same thing could happen with a new van um you're gonna buy a new van you're gonna put some money down um you know you're gonna get it and in two years you're looking at about 350,000 miles maybe close to 400,000 and you're still gonna owe quite a bit on it um it's gonna start breaking on you just like another used van would be but now, not only that you have to worry about the payments, you now have to worry about the breakdowns. And believe me, guys, they will come. Um, it's kind of like Murphy's Law. It's uh, it's true what they say, you know, if it can happen, it will happen. Uh, like, let's say you don't have finances to do something, you know, and then that's at the point that's actually where it breaks. And it could actually break you morally, mentally, because you just can't survive anymore. So it's not gonna be like, wow you know uh, this business is a it's a high high risk high reward uh, type of business uh, as long as you're willing to uh, put in the work and just uh, really just work at it you know keep going you'll make some money but also when you have a breakdown what are you gonna do who are you gonna call are you gonna be getting uh, somebody to work on it because they're gonna rip you off this is where I come in and I'm having uh, you know all my informational videos for you guys to look at um, to try to help answer those questions as best as possible um, you know in case you have that type of issue you need, you need help right away so that's what I'm there for and don't hesitate guys to ask me anytime you need help like any kind of breakdown whatever just write to me on any type of video I don't care what video it is 
just write to me. I will respond that same day, guys. Uh, most likely, maybe even within a few hours. Because if it's mobile now, we are mobile, and you know, I have good internet still. So I always check on my phone for all the recent comments. And I try to answer them quick, because if I don't answer them, I'm gonna get like so much comments, I'm gonna be overwhelmed, and I'm not gonna be able to get to everybody. So I answer comments right away, uh, as soon as I get them. Um, that's why I check maybe like every hour, sometimes after every two hours, depending on what I'm doing. I might check like once a day, okay? Uh, that's rare, uh, that will happen at some point, but still you get the question answered that same day. And uh, you know, reason I do that, I really like helping you guys. And before even YouTube channel, that's what I was doing. Um, I was uh, answering a lot of questions that my friend that friends had. And after a while, it became to where it's a little bit overwhelming because I got all these questions and everybody's calling me and they're calling me while I'm sleeping and that kind of thing. So I kind of made this for some of my friends and some of my to be become friends in the future. They could actually watch videos and it might help them um, answer any question that they may have potentially.